The two most important days in our lives are the day that we are born and the day we understand why. Namaskaram. I was born in India, but it was the United States of America that allowed me to discover my calling. Na Peru Aruna Katragada Miller. And in 2010, I was the first Indian American woman to be elected to the Maryland General Assembly. And in doing so, I became the first Telugu woman in the United States to be elected to a state legislature. Naku yanta praidu yanta honor to be able to represent the people of Maryland, to be able to represent the Indian American community, and most importantly, to be able to represent women who get a seat at the table now. I'd like to thank Mohan Garu for his incredible leadership in putting together the 20th Thana anniversary here. Mohan Garu is a very gentle soul, but certainly he has a lot of power and leadership. So again, I want to thank him for all that he's done to put this together. I'd like to also thank all the dignitaries on the stage, many of whom who came all the way from India. I want to thank them for the role that they play in moving India into the 21st century. And to the heroes and heroine of Telugu cinema, to the writers and poets and the spiritual leaders who remind us that we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And thank you to the numerous volunteers that have dedicated so much time and passion to be able to put on such a program like this. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you're doing. Like many of you here today, I came to this country as an immigrant. Indian Americans have achieved the American dream and are the most educated, affluent, and most entrepreneurial of any ethnic group in this country. While we make up less than 1% of the U.S. population, we signify 3% of the nation's engineers, 7% of the nation's IT workers, 8% of the nation's physicians and surgeons, and 73% of the national spelling bee champions. Well, each of us are very notable and the impacts that we bring to the United States of America, it's worth identifying that Satya Nadella, who became the first Telugu to uh, be the head of CEO for Microsoft, to Nina Dalavuri, who became Miss America in 2014 and has expanded the definition of beauty to include 1.2 billion people across the globe and to also comedian Hari Kondabolu. So it just goes to show not only are Telugu people brilliant, beautiful, but we also have a great sense of humor. Despite our financial and educational success and the model minority that we have become in the United States, Indian Americans are noticeably absent in public service. Of the 535 federal positions at U.S. Congress, only one is represented by uh, Indian American, Congressman Ami Bera. And of the 7,700 elected statewide positions, there's only 15 Indian Americans, and of those, only five are women. Indians are under, underrepresented in politics, and it is critical that we convert our economic power into political influence. Why? Because policy making affects everything we do in our lives. From the moment you wake up, whether the air that you're breathing is clean, the water that you're drinking is clean, the schools that you send our, your kids to, whether they're being funded properly or not, when you go to your work, are you being discriminated? Are you being treated fairly? Is there equity there? And the taxes that you pay, and it even has a profound impact on whether or not our country is at peace or at war. 
This is why policy making is so important, and this is why Indian Americans need to be more engaged. If you want your government to be responsive, if you want your voice in their decisions, if you want to fight inequities in society, don't be a spectator. You have to be active and fearless participant in the political process. Remember, if you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. So what is the solution? Number one, as we become engaged, register to vote. There are so many Indian Americans that are here that are not even registered to vote. Once you register to vote, make sure that you register with a party. If you don't register with a party, you leave yourself out of the most important part of the election process, the primary. The primary in this country determines who your party representative is going to be in the general election. So make sure that you register with a party. And remember to vote. People in this country have marched for, fought for, and died for our ability to vote. And shame on us that we can't go across the street on election day to vote. Number four, make sure that you support candidates. Candidates that are Indian Americans, candidates that support the values that you support. Either you can volunteer for them, you can donate money to them. Candidates need all your help to be elected. And finally, never leave yourself out of the equation that you can run for public office one day too. So let us move from being marginalized to be the margin of victory. I look forward to a nation where more Indian Americans will consider public service as a career in an effort to empower our community in the de decisions that move our country forward in our economy, equality, justice, and peace, where we have a seat at the table. Tomorrow, the United States of America will celebrate the 239th anniversary of its independence. I'm grateful to be a citizen of this country for the many opportunities it has offered to me and my family. And I can think of no better way to give back to my country than through public service. And the success of our community, our state, and our country can outwork if each of us is more important than all of us. Thank you for having me.